this is Scott McDonald with Remax Gateway, and I'm here with Kyle Jeffreyon with Guaranteed Rate. So we were talking today in our training class about the government shutdown. We're in day what of the government shutdown now? We're in day 17 right day now. Day 17. And it's one of the longest ones that we've had. Um, I think maybe the Clinton administration had one that was a little bit longer. But uh, it's definitely affecting a couple of entities in the federal government. So why don't you talk about couple of those areas. Sure, yeah. If there's any good news, it's that this is a partial shutdown, so not every uh, every aspect of lending is impacted here, but the biggest things we're keeping an eye out for, and what I'd encourage anyone working with a lender uh, buying a home, if their loan's in process or they're about to buy a home, uh, would be to check on the guidelines for a couple things. One, tax transcripts. As of right now, this moment, the IRS is not processing return uh, tax transcript return requests, and so that could impact some, uh, some loans don't require them to be done before settlement, some require them um, uh, to come back in before settlement. So check with your, your lender, make sure that they are uh, able to still process it if they don't get a transcript back in time. The second is if you're a government employee, so uh, verification of employment is still required. Uh, verification of employment is still required. Different departments may handle this differently, some do an automated BOE. Um, and some still need a written one filled out. And so if you're working with somebody uh, that is an employee of the government, make sure that they're going to be able to still close your loan if they don't re uh, receive a verification of employment back. What about FHA loans and VA loans? As of right now, FHA and VA are still working okay. Um, a lot of what they do is automated, and so those systems are still active. They'll still be able to close an FHA loan? Yes. Okay. Yes. As All of right, right now, FHA and VA That's not affected. Uh, USDA, so if you're doing anything in rural areas, USDA loans um, are impacted, not able to close right now. Because of Department of Agriculture. Correct. Yeah. Uh, that's one of the, I think it's 25% of the government is shut down, and there's maybe like 12% of the IRS is working is what I've heard. Sure, but yeah, yeah. It's, it's not a full shutdown, as you mentioned. Yes. And the, right, and the departments that are not shut down are still working at a limited capacity, and so if you're used to getting things back and say, three or four days and they're working at lower capacity, then uh, you may be looking weeks um, to make sure that that's something to keep in right. mind. So let's say the government is no longer shut down as of Friday and you have a loan that's in process. How much should you delay your closing, let's say if it was supposed to close um, on the 15th of January or the end of January? Should you get an extension if you're at the end of January or you think you'll be good? A lot of these, if the government opens back up, then uh, these are things that can be uh, fulfilled pretty quickly. So uh, it's, it's really hard to predict uh, how quickly a shutdown can end. But as of right now, I would say the hopes are that you would be good um, because I don't think that it's still a large amount of, of bar borrowers or home buyers out there that will be completely affected. Okay. So if anybody has any particular questions, they can reach you at what number? Uh, Kyle Jeffrey on Guaranteed Rate, 571-208-7779. And Scott McDonald, 703-652-5777. Call us if you have any questions about the government shutdown, loans in general, uh, or your particular situation if you're looking to, to buy or sell a house. Thanks a lot and have a great day.